Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, if you have a BMW, guys, any BMW, and you guys uh, need to uh, calibrate your steering angle sensor, you need to reset it, you need to calibrate your steering angle sensor, we'll show you guys how to do that. The procedure is super simple, it takes just a few minutes, but you have to have the right tools. And we'll share one of the cheapest tools that can do that with you. Now, we'll be showing you on a 3 Series BMW, but it should work on 1 Series, 2, 3, 5, 6 Series BMW. Also, you work on X3, X5 and uh, the Z3, Z4 models, guys. So, let's go ahead, start on it and show you what needs to be done now, guys. This is the car right here. Okay, it's a 2005 BMW, you may, you may uh, actually guys uh, have the traction control light and brake light on due to a bad, okay, a bad or not cal calibrated steering angle sensor. Every time you do a front end work, let's say a front end alignment, something like that, you will need to guys reset your steering angle sensor. And this is the tool that we'll be using. All that guys will be listed in the description of the video below. So let me show you guys what we'll be doing here. We need to find our OBD port. Okay, right there. Connect it now. Okay, perfect. And I'll show you what needs to be done. The vehicle needs to be on a perfectly level ground when we do that. We have to have the ignition on. Okay, let me turn the ignition on. Okay, like that. And with these two guys you can read and delete codes from the engine computer, airbag system, ABS, traction control, you can register batteries. So many things guys, so many things, super helpful, super helpful too. And I'll go down to SAS, this is steering angle sensor. We click enter. Okay, and what do we do now here? Instructions of the function or choose a vehicle. Okay, it's going to give you guys, uh, okay let me just turn the light a little bit down okay it's going to give you uh, the different options here uh, instruction function you can read about that if you want to what it does uh, all that stuff you can see what it's for we'll just go to choose a vehicle okay right there now we'll select Europe this is a BMW you can see this one supports so many brands we'll select BMW 3 series guys Okay, let me show you the ones that you, it supports for BMW X, Z, so quite a few guys. We'll go to 3 Series, E46, right there, switch on, ignition, okay, ignition is on on our vehicle now, and we're going to click OK. Okay, it's establishing communication now with the vehicle. It says operations are normal but the function is still necessary to perform. Please, okay, if the if all operations are normal but the function is still unnecessary to perform to uh, send them the information, we confirm okay. Now, what we have right here guys, it says description of the steering angle sensor. Okay, you can read what all this is about, uh, you can select it and it tells you what the sensor does and all that stuff so pretty interesting information for some of you that need more help and I'm going to click perform steering angle calibration steering angle sensor matching do you wish to carry out the steering angle sensor make sure your steering wheel is pointing okay it's perfectly perfectly leveled steering wheel not to the left or to the right a little bit okay ours Okay, it needs to be just like that. Okay, perfect. So, I'll click yes. Set wheels precisely in straight ahead position. Okay. And it's establishing communication. Now let's see what it's going to tell us. Okay, the matching procedure for the steering angle sensor was carried out correctly. Check whether the fault is still present, switch ignition off and then read fault code memory. So we can do that if we want to or uh, at that point most likely you are done guys. You can see the steering angle right here and uh, you can check okay if it's working. So you can see definitely every time I turn the steering wheel it changes. 
Ok, positive numbers, 37 degrees angle. And now we are in the negative numbers. And now we are at 2. And we'll click continue. And if test mode model, everything's fine. And if I go ahead and start the car now. Ok, we shouldn't have any steering angle sensor lights or anything like that. No traction lights. So thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.